Hi everyone, this is Simon Powers at Classical Guitar Corner saying hi from a very cold polar, polar, polar vortex in New York. I had a message come in from Steve from New Mexico and he was asking about... Uh, he has a piece where a lot of the melody notes are in the bass with all the stems of the notes going down and he wants to bring out that bass line. And he asked me for an exercise where you can develop uh, the independence of the right hand fingers to bring out different voices. Now this is really one of the most uh, sophisticated things about classical guitar is that you can have many things going on and different voices are brought out at different times and they're all done within the, the right hand. Uh, one example might be um, from Bach. Well, that's as far as I can remember anyway, but uh, the point is you can take one voice and decide to make it louder than another and one voice a bit lower and uh, this really gives some dimension to your playing. So, I'm going to give you an exercise that's really simple in its idea but it's actually really quite a difficult thing to do. So, we're going to take D major uh, over the first four strings, so the fourth, third, second and first string and what I'm going to get you to do is, let's start to play the block chord, so using P-I-M-A in the right hand, one finger for each string. Now, I want you to play that same chord all together, all the notes together, P-I-M-A, but I want you to accent the thumb. So I want to hear all the notes, but I want the thumb, which is going to be D, the fourth string, to come out louder than the rest. So this is all together nice and even. And this is bringing up the thumb. Now I'm doing this by pu pushing down with the thumb just that little bit more than the other string, so the string is going to vibrate more when I let go of the finger, so I'm inserting the thumb a little bit more and I'm just trying to release it with a bit more strength, a bit more of an attack. Now the thumb is one thing, the next step is the ring finger on the top string, so this is going to bring out this note. So what you can do is you can prepare that ring finger, the A, and depress the string just a little bit more than the others. So prepare it, push down a little more with the A finger, and when you release it, the top string should come out more clearly than the other notes. So then comes the very difficult I and M finger, which the middle two voices, the inner voices. So to get those out, we have to do the same technique by pushing in a little bit more with the I finger. This one's a bit more difficult though. As you can see, I'm missing a couple of notes each time. Maybe they're not all there. So this really takes some practice. Now the M finger. There it is. So what you can do, which is going to annoy your spouse or friends or roommates terribly, is you can just repeat this chord over and over again and give yourself a goal of, I'm going to bring out the thumb this time. This time I'm going to bring out the I finger, the M finger, or the A finger. So it might sound like this, the thumb. So I hope I, maybe I didn't demonstrate that perfectly, but it is really quite a difficult exercise. So good luck with it, and thank you for posting in your questions, Steve. Um, please keep in touch. Bye.